Do you want to know the top phrases that you can say that will drive any girl crazy? Well, if so, then you're watching the right video. Here is some of the best inside scoop presented by... Oh yeah, yours truly. Let's get right into it. Number one, make me. Now we have heard this a million times before, but that is only because it is so effective. For example, if a girl says, shut up, you say, make me. <laughs> Five things that guys do that make us on a go. <laughs> Thing number one. When you're driving, he puts his hand on his thigh. <laughs> Thing number two. When he wears uh. his hat like this. <laughs> Thing number three. When he's driving and he's like oh, this and he looks over. <laughs> I stay focused by blocking out the world Too many complications with a modern day girl I'd rather stack money taking trips around the world Part introvert, expert, an expert at living Welcome skirt. back to the Anthony Spade channel Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button Go ahead and hit that subscribe button And go ahead and hit that notifications button So you can get the videos as soon as I release them Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, Life with Anthony Spade, the link is in the description. You want the music for the intro, that's in the description too. All right, my second channel shows you what I'm doing whenever I get done shooting these videos. All right, okay, today we're going to be talking about how to beat a woman at her own game and come out on top. And the reason why I'm making this video it's because the thing that a lot of you guys is lacking is game. Every time you come across a woman from day one, hello, how you doing? To, to sorry, it's over with, I don't want to be with you. All of that's game. She's constantly playing a game. So today I'm going to be teaching you how you play the game so you always get on top. First, whenever you're dating, you have to learn to go out without the woman. What do I mean? In other words... You guys always want to invite the woman somewhere. How about you go out and do things, and if she asks you what you're doing, then you say, hey, I went to go do this. Hey, I went to go do that. And the reason for that is because a lot of you guys give up so much power, but you don't do it, how can I say? You don't do it directly. You do it indirectly. You give up the power because you start doing the same traits as the guys before you. All right, so when a woman catches the same traits that you're doing in the same conversations over again, she's already a step ahead of the game because her game works in her favor just by knowing exactly how you're just like all the other guys before you. So what you have to learn to do is you have to learn to go out and do things by yourself. In other words, you're willing to move on ahead in life without her. If not, you're going to get set behind. Next, play hard to get. How do you play hard to get? This is how you play hard to get. Women have narcissism and they have narcissism fast. So what you want to do is you want to start going along with her and then stop being her little do boy. Be her do boy on purpose. Be the little beta male that's there to be her be there for her for like only a couple days. But then after that, pull away. Learn to pull away and no longer cater to her. That's the hard part that you guys are facing because you think that if you don't treat her extra good, she's going to go find somebody to treat her better than what you're treating her. No, she's going to gravitate towards the guy that treats her bad, not bad, but confusion. She wants to be with the guy that she can't figure out. So you must learn how to be the guy that she can't get but the guy that gives her whatever she wants. In other words, be a beta male one day and act like an alpha male the next day. What that's gonna do is that's gonna confuse her. Once she gets confused, you'll start to look more attractive. And if I have women watching this, yes, it really works. Next, learn to leave her on read. What do I mean by learn to leave her on read? You must have to learn how not to look at the text message, how not to answer the text message. Leave her on read. A lot of you guys are so scared to do that because once again, you fear her getting mad at you. And then when she gets mad at you, she's going to go to another guy. No, all these little things leaving her on read is actually the opposite of what most guys are doing. Most guys are doing the same thing that you doing. That's how come she doesn't feel bad whenever she goes to use you or she doesn't feel bad canceling plans, ghosting you and doing things like that. It's because you've already showed traits of the other guy. 
So what you want to learn to do is start keeping her on read. Let her go three hours waiting on your text message to come back. And trust me, if you make her wait three hours, she will respect you. But if you tell her this in person, she'll say, oh, just don't play games with girls. Sorry, but women are always playing a game. Next, learn to make a move. What do I mean make a move? Learn to tell her like, hey, you know what? You just want to mess around. Learn to make a move where you tell her, hey, you just want to mess around. I'm really not looking for a girlfriend. Like at the end of the day, I don't want to like beat around the bush. I really just want to mess around with you. And then after that, learn to tell her stuff like that. Those are things that you guys don't want to tell her. If a woman knows that you just want to have sex with her and you're being direct about it and then you want to leave, believe it or not, she just may give you some. Nine times out of 10, she'll give you some because she's going to think, you know what? My sex is so good, I'm going to give him the sex. And that's what's going to win him over. He just ain't going to be able to have sex and walk away from me. I'm going to make I'm going to make sex so good that he doesn't go to another female. If you learn to talk to her directly like that, talk to her directly as like, hey, this is what I want to do, plain and simple. Women would tell you that the, that's what they want to hear, but they really don't want to hear it. But when they really hear it, they have a lot of respect for the man. Next, get caught texting other girls. You think all of this stuff sounds bad. This stuff don't sound bad. Learn to get caught texting other girls. Why do you want to get caught texting other girls? It shows that you're edgy. It shows that she ain't the only one. It shows that, hey, she, you may be a step ahead of her. That's what you got to do. You got to always be a step ahead of her. If you get caught texting another girl, right, and you never told her that you love her or you never told her that you guys were in a relationship, it makes you look even more attractive and it makes her not look attractive like she's not worth that. She's going to constantly think there's another girl out there that's better than me. This is why he's not being a simp. I've caught him texting another girl. That's what you want to do during the dating phase. Now, if you don't told her, I love you, you're the only girl I want to be with, and you're the only girl I want to see, and then you get caught texting, that's a different ball game. But if you get caught texting during the dating phase, then you have a, a level up on her because that's going to force her to work even harder. You have to understand, women want to compete with another woman. They do not want to be with a man that no girl wants until after they've been hurt by the alpha male. When they've been hurt by the alpha male, they go run and grab the easiest guy in the world that they can manipulate so they can get back. So learn to be a step ahead of them during the dating process. Next, last but not least, don't ever tell her you're looking for a commitment. That's the worst thing that you could tell a woman. If you want to be a step ahead of the game, never tell her that you're looking for a commitment and never tell her that you're looking for a girlfriend. A lot of you guys love to tell a woman, I'm looking for a relationship. I need a nice girl like this and I need a girl like that because I'm this type of guy and I'm that type of guy. No, never commit. And what you want to do is you want to do the same thing she does. Stop having Start having unrealistic expectations. You must tell a woman on the first date what your boundaries are, what you're going to accept for her and what you're not going to accept for her. Right. And then after you put your boundaries in play and she understands that what you're going to put up with and what you're not going to put up with, never have a reason to commit. And the reason for that is it's because the moment she knows that you want to commit is going to be the moment that she, the moment she knows that you want to commit is going to be the moment that she starts leveraging your desires in order to get what she wants. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the story on how to stay a step ahead of the woman during the dating phase so you can ultimately win. You guys must learn to play the dating game. A woman would tell you she's not playing the game, but you will realize everything was a game at the end of the day, right? This is Anthony Spade. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. And my second channel has nothing to deal with women. It's what I'm doing whenever I leave here. This is Anthony Spade. Hasta la vista.